This is what World No Tobacco Day looks like in the newsroom of the Russian weekly, Ruski Repotyor. A day like any other for editor Vitaly Lebin, who swears the new Russian ban won't apply to him. Maybe things will change with the younger generation, he says, but journalists my age are absolutely incapable of writing without coffee or cigarette. Russia is a smoker's paradise. It's the second biggest market in the world after China for cigarette makers. More than 40% of the population here smoke. Among men, it's more than 60%. As a result of that smoking and high rates of alcohol abuse, Russian men can't expect to live much longer than 60 years. And doctors aren't much help. 62% are themselves smokers. Until now, authorities had not done much, but the new nationwide ban is ambitious. We aim to reduce by half the number of smokers over the next five years, says Dr. Oleg Salagai. Beginning tomorrow, smoking in all public buildings will no longer be allowed. It will be forbidden to smoke less than 15 meters away from doorways, and selling tobacco in the streets will be banned, so kiosks like this one will disappear. Russian smokers are more than annoyed. I think you should respect the right of people to smoke or not, says this man. They really should not ban all the little pleasures in life, says this woman. This new law is pretty radical. It plans to implement in little more than a year measures that were spread over a 10-year period in countries such as Canada, which makes it a risky political move. People here are still angry at Mikhail Gorbachev for trying to limit their vodka consumption, and that was 25 years ago. Jean-François Bélanger, CBC News, Moscow.